Here are some faults we see uh, during the acceleration phase, and it really stops a pitcher from being a high-performance pitcher. One of them, the pitcher, tries to start flexing forward before he squares, and he's never going to be a real hard thrower, and he's not going to have real good control. But some pitchers have been taught to throw down over the front shoulder versus squaring the trunk. And all your pro pitchers, your good pitchers, you see a squaring, then flex. You don't see flex and try to square too late. Just doesn't happen that sequence. Okay, so you don't want to throw down over the front shoulder. That gives you a real high arm slot. You want to throw that hand out here. Here's the arm slot you want for a power pitcher. Three quarters right here. Shoulders will be tilted somewhat. Hand out here. And, of course, you're following through, down through. Okay. The other thing we see is an extreme tilt of the trunk. And you see the guy arches back like this. He falls back. His head's falling back. Of course, his front side's flying open, too. And then his arm slot is real high. He's going to end up with tendonitis, biceps tendonitis of the shoulder. His ball's going to be straight to string. Won't throw as hard as he would if he's getting better trunk rotation when he throws. Let's take a look at that from the back. This is what the pitcher looks like who's trying to throw down over his shoulder, over the front shoulder, and when you see it from the back. See this action here, real tilt of the trunk out, the hand high, the arm slot high, and he's falling this way, okay? And he's not going to have good control, and he's going to end up hurting his shoulder doing that. Uh, also, you see the extreme tilt that I have. You see him throw back like this, chest back, and you can just see where he doesn't have control of his forces going forward, all right? The other thing that will happen when he does this, of course, the front side flies open early, and then he has to throw from here versus throwing from back here. So what you want to see from the back is a trunk rotation, and here's a release point right out here. Again, down, back, up, there's the arm slot you want, squared, and then follow through in a downward plane. Here's a demonstration of a pitcher who flexes forward before he squares. So he'll look like this. You'll see his head's out of the top center of the triangle. He's trying to flex forward. His trunk is not squared, and he has lack of power. It should be square, then flex, not flex and square. Okay, again, that pitch is being taught to throw down over the front shoulder, and it's a very poor technique. And you see that arm slot come way up here, and oftentimes they'll stiff arm the ball. That's how an outfielder throws. And an outfielder can't throw very hard, very long that way, you'd end up with a bad shoulder. So again, from the front, right here, that's a release point you want to see, this 45-degree angle, and finish outside the box.